In this video, I will walk through initial project setup and player rig setup. Starting from an empty project, you'll first want to decide if you're going to use SteamVR, Oculus integration, or both. Whichever you choose, you should have the asset in the project and working. For Oculus integration, import from the store, a pop-up may ask you to update and then restart Unity. For Steam VR, import from the store. You can optionally open the Steam VR input editor and create your default bindings. With one or both of those assets imported, make sure there are no outstanding compiler errors in your project. You can check by looking in the console and clicking clear. If errors persist, you must resolve them before importing VR Interaction or the automatic setup will not be able to complete. VR Interaction is the free asset my other VR assets are based on. You can import just this asset to test whether or not VR Interaction is good for your project. After importing, if you are using Steam VR, a pop-up will tell you that there are bindings that can be used and a second pop-up will ask if you want to merge or replace. To get the pre-made bindings, you must choose Replace, then delete to the second pop-up. If you merge, you can keep the default bindings or any pre-made bindings from before importing VR Interaction, but you will have to assign all actions to buttons manually for all the controllers. At this point, you should be able to play the Interaction example scene and test it working by picking up blocks or the torch. You can toggle the torch by clicking the trigger. There are example player prefabs in the asset, but if you are having issues, a way to resolve may be to make a new player prefab. For Oculus, you can find the OVR prefab, and for Steam VR, you can find the Camera Rig prefab. Since VR Interaction doesn't position the controller, it's best to drag the example prefab into the scene, make sure the controllers are visible and working before adding VR Interaction components. Once you have it working, simply add the VR Interactor component to both controllers. The VR Input component will work differently depending on the type of rig it is attached to. In Oculus or SteamVR on or before version 1.2.3, you can expand the Edit Actions foldout to make new actions, then assign those actions to buttons. On SteamVR after 1.2.3, it will use the SteamVR input action system. You can assign actions to the Boolean action list to add new buttons, then assign those actions to buttons in the SteamVR input editor binding UI. Hope this helps!